Now again, as we go to your sprite that you've created, you've got different frames. I already went through those. Um, you've got different animations that you could create. I want to create a, you could name it whatever you want to name it. Uh, or maybe you can't. I thought we could back in the day. But yeah, I see you've got all these different names. You've got animation one, two, three, four, five, and then these number ones that have just been added. Um, but as you create your, your sprite with different animations, you can then assign those animations to a certain uh, animation that has been created so, or, or that has been programmed. So say I want run right. I want my run right to be shoot left, for example. So every time I run right, it makes the animation that I'm shooting left. So it's kind of got to go through and make sure those are correct. Say as I'm going right, I'm shooting left. So make sure all those sync up to your sprite. Let's see. Um, obviously, you can change the move speed, and now you can enter in a number, which has been a nice feature. So I'll go 30. Let's see what that'll do. Um, number of air jumps, let's say 10. Damage knockback, I don't have any monsters right now, so I won't worry about that. Jump height, we're gonna say one. Oh, so that's not a number. Oops. Jump height, one. And attack delay, I don't want any delay. I want just to be able to push the button and I attack. And there's my projectile. Actually, no, I want to shoot something different. I want to shoot um, the finish line, just for fun. Okay, again, erase my player, paint a new one, play. All right, so now I should have tons of movement speed. I should have a little tiny jump, and I can jump 10 times if I can get it fast enough. Nope, I can't. And then every time I push shoot, I shoot a uh, finish line. So we play that again. Oops. So I'm shooting lots of finish lines. Woohoo. So you can really create uh, a lot of fun things with that, of what you're trying to shoot. I can shoot spikes. I could shoot another player. <laughs> I could shoot a portal. Um, I don't know what that would do. That'd be kind of fun. But that's kind of everything about um, a player option. And as you go to each different type of things, you've got your finish line. Let's just go to a new sprite here. So I've got a shooting player, a platforming player, one that holds onto the walls. You can turn that one on and off, um, but they won't shoot. Um, they, can, they can dash as well. Um, you've got different types of monsters, a uh, spawner for creating different types of monsters, different types of projectiles, stomp monsters that you jump on them from any kind of direction, either left or right or up or down, and they will die. Uh, blocks, decorations. Um, again, decorations in my mind would be similar to blocks, but I would label them as a decoration just to keep it simple. Puzzle block, you're able to move it, and again, you can make animations for all this stuff. You can change the colors. Um, you can shoot the puzzle blocks. Um, a bounce object, kind of like spring. Uh, those were just added recently. Those have been a lot of fun. Uh, level end. Um, checkpoints. Checkpoints are critical, at least for the start of the level. That way, if you do die, you instead of the game shutting down and you have to reloading it, you just start back at the beginning. Uh, portals for different portals. Um, doors require keys to open up. Spikes. You die. Don't touch them. Coins, uh, these are the only counted items that you can get at the end of the game. It's kind of more like your score right now. So that should get uh, revamped. Player swapper, you can start with a shooting player and swap over to a platforming player and vice versa like we did at the Alter Ego game. Uh, you can also switch guns or have a different type of gun, get a stronger gun or a stronger sword or actually shoot your sword. Um, different options there. Health pack obviously gives you health. Damage increases your damage. Speed increases your speed. Hopefully we'll be able to get ones where you can increase your, your jump. 
But again, you could just use that with the, the player swapper. Just have a swap out the exact same player, but then modify that new player's uh, jump height or the amount of jumps that they have. There was a couple games that did that recently. Keys, obviously use those to to break, to make doors or to open up doors. And then your NPCs, you can have them to, to say kind of whatever you want them to say. Have them wander. It's kind of fun. And when you talk to them, they do a certain interaction. Um, also, if you have a, a sprite that you want to create and you have saved sprites, I'll go into saved sprites. I want to create a saved sprite that's an NPC of the green mage. And it'll pull up my green mage and his animations. And I can uh, assign when I interact with him, what's he going to do? I want him to go crazy and start jumping. His default is just going to be sitting here idle. His portrait icon, uh, when it pulls up as a text, I want him to do that. I want him to move left, move right. Actually, move up. I don't have a move up because this is a platformer. Move down. He's not going to move down. He's going to move right. Move right. I'm going to have him wander. And I'm going to have him wander speed really fast. Oh, wander distance. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of distance, and I'm going to have him pace a lot. And he's going to say... Zappo. Okay. Collider box. Sometimes it doesn't show up the first time, so we'll go to edit him. Then we'll go back. We'll go back. Then we'll go back into the NPC or go back into his edit mode. There we go. I'm going to change his collider box to be right on everything there. Okay, I'm going to put the NPC here. Play. And he's going crazy. Oops, I just shot off finish line and ended. Try that again. So you see his, I guess it's just a picture. There's no animation on the on this top left corner. Okay, um, what else? I think that's it for now. I think I'll go into some games. Um, Oh, also make sure if you want, if you have a sprite that you really like, say I really like my, really want my box, my puzzle box or my block tile. Tap to edit. I'm going to push the settings here. And I'm going to save the sprite. And when I go into a different game, make game, new game, platformer, sure. It could be a completely different game. It could be a tower defense. I'm not going to include default objects just to give you an idea what it will do. Then I go to start creating a puzzle block, or block, sorry, not a puzzle block. Tap to edit. I want my block. I'm going to push on my block, and boom, here's my block. Then I'm going to draw the base of the level with my block. And I want it in the background as well. And I want it in the foreground right here, just because. Then I'm going to create a platforming player. And just because I already have it set up, I'm going to import my green mage again. Except for all of his animations are off. Run left. Run right. And I don't care about the rest. Oops, <laughs> I should place him. Boop, play. So now I'm the, for, the, the foreground and the background for these ones. And voila, create a player. 